All right, welcome back. Shave and haircut. We here. We Diabloin. Yeah, there's, there's right. Diabloin, and uh, I think there's a two somewhere in there. Yep, this is Diablo Dos, the second of the Diablos. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Holy toe. And so it came to pass that the Countess, who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood of a hundred virgins... That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of virgins. That's a, <laughs> you're right. Like, I'm I'm not saying, like, I, I'm just saying you'd be hard-pressed to find, like, a bunch of virgins. And what, like, if you bathed in the blood of a hundred per- virgins, I guess that's about a pint each. Where do you even find that many virgins? Yeah. And then you have, all of them have to be willing to donate a pint of blood. I mean, at yeah. least. At least. I mean, th- this is, this is like some, some dark evil shit, too, so it's like, you're not, yeah. you're not bathing in, like... Their donated blood. Yeah. I imagine there's a lot of things that just, you know... They're dead. They're dead. They're, they're very dead. They were killed, and you're using all of their blood. Yeah. Which is why I'm saying it's a lot. Okay, so... If you're using hold on. all of the blood out of a hundred people... Yeah, so that'd be about 800 pints. I mean, that's like... That's like SeaWorld level right there. It's, let, let's, let's, let's Google it. I'm, I'm gonna pull up web browser <laughs> over here. We got... All yeah, right, just so pulling up web browser right. on the other side. Yeah, we got. We are advanced. It's okay. It's not on the screen or anything. Yeah. All right, uh, pints in a gallon. All right, uh, so eight pints is one gallon. Eight pints is one gallon. Well, so, then there has to be more because there's more than one gallon of blood in the human body. Blood in the human body. Uh, one oh. one one point two to one and a half gallons. Okay. So it would be a hundred, hundred and fifty gallons. At, uh, approximately, a hundred and twenty okay. to a hundred and fifty gallons. That, okay, so that's maybe not like Sea World level, but that's definitely like that weird guy that has like, the hundred and fifty gallon fish tank in his apartment. You know? Yeah, like it's yeah, it's, it's and it's always apartment. Nobody has that in their house. All right. Yeah. If if you, <laughs> if you own a house, nobody you, has that in their house. You have, if you own a house, you don't. <laughs> You, you're not going to invest the money in a 150-gallon fish tank. Yeah, you've got better shit to do. Yeah. They're, no, I, I like them. I like watching them. Be like, then get a screensaver. It's useless. Go away. <laughs> yeah, fish, fish are just noisy furniture. I'm sorry if you like fish. If you like fish, you're wrong. Like, uh, and let, it, let us clear what we that's, mean by liking fish. That's not true. Like fish are food. Okay, that's they they are edible. Let's not discount our vegetarian friends. I, I just mean like, I guess that's true. And like, if you keep fish, it's like <clears throat> eventually eat them. Like that's the thing. I don't know. I don't. Well, see, that's 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 where I stand on it. I don't see the appeal to keeping pet fish. Yeah. They don't do anything. Yeah. They don't. They don't do tricks. They don't snuggle. Like, the main thing that people want pets for is to, like, snuggle. Like, you know, like, not feel alone at the end of the day. You come home and you hug your pet, you know? Yeah. Like, that's what people want from pets. You can't do that with... You can even do that with lizards and snakes, and you can't do that with fish. Yeah, You do that true. with fish, it's fish murder. It's fish aside. Uh, when, I, when I was a child, uh, my brother had a piranha. And again, people who keep piranhas, it seems like you're just trying to get away with murder. Yeah, it's like, what do you what do you need that fish for? What does that fish do for you? This cat is all up in my biz. Yeah, she does that. If you're doing it for attention, cat, I'm not going to give you any. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is mildly working because I have to pay attention to you because you're trying to shove your face in my mouth. She does that. It's like I'm at Coachella in here. Is that something that happens at Coachella? I don't know. There's a lot of drug use. There's a lot of promiscuity. I imagine a lot of people are trying to shove their faces in people's mouths. I just want to put my face in mouths. I want to know what it's like. I want to experience it. I imagine it's pretty good. It sounds good. I, I imagine it's one of those things where you have to be either like blasted drunk or like way in like use of drugs to justify it. High. High is the word that you're looking for. 
Does high apply to all drugs? Is it just a universal term? Like, no matter what drug you've taken? I feel like that is. I feel like that's the case. You are just like, high. Now that you mention it, now that you say it like that, like, it makes me wonder. Like, is that... Yeah. Or Because you can't just say that, like, oh, this term is, is the incorrect way to refer to this thing, but, like, you kind of can because... Yeah. Like, that's how language evolves. Yeah. So, high, no matter what <laughs> drug it is, it's you are high on X drug. Right. Okay. I can see that. Because, I mean, even drugs that have, like, wildly different effects on the human body, everybody still says I'm high on it. Like, coke, meth, opium, you know, yeah. marijuana. Like, those those drugs have wildly different effects. Yeah, you say, you say that you're high on something, whether it's an upper or a downer. Yeah. Like, ecstasy, Viagra. Well, I guess you don't say that about Viagra. Yeah, no, you don't say... You no, one, no one's high on Viagra. Yeah. We can safely say that. Yeah. I'm not high on Viagra. I'm down on Viagra. <laughs> I'm up, but I'm not high. Yeah. Wow, that seems like we should write for Viagra's advertising campaign. Maybe we should. I'm hey. up, but I'm not high. Hey, if Viagra wants to uh, sponsor Shave and Haircut, oh, I'm yeah. down. I'm, uh, I'll take anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't even have to be much. You want to give us just like 50 bucks? Yeah. I'll do it. We'll totally grow your sales. Yeah. Yeah, we we can we we'll can make work sure on our sales stay up. We can work a on a sliding scale, like and it. You know, you don't even have to have to give us any money. Just just, just mention us. Tweet, tweet our channel. Just do that. God, how many Twitter followers does Viagra have? I don't know. Probably a lot. Probably a lot. Well, I don't know. Maybe not a lot. Like, cause who wants to follow Viagra on Twitter? Cause you know, a lot of dudes are still like, oh, I don't fucking need Viagra. Like my, 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 my yeah, I guess... raw manliness gets its cock so hard already. Well, but like Viagra's whole. Like their 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 whole campaign and like their whole company policy and uh, probably not company policy but like their the the idea behind Viagra is that like you have ED and that's okay because we can, we can help you with that yeah. and it's like you don't have to feel self conscious about it yeah like we've got people in bathtubs well, just in the middle of a field what your what <laughs> no that's Cialis sorry sorry Viagra that is Cialis that's not you. <coughs> See, Alice, if you want to sponsor this show, <coughs> just tweet at us. Or do, if you just want somebody to run plumbing to those fucking tubs you have in the middle of fields. Yeah, we'll I'll, help you out. I'll do that, too. We know what we're doing. Yeah. We're professionals. Mm -hmm. We're about to gain another level. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Gosh, she's purring so hard. Yeah. She is loving what you've got. Mm -hmm. It's because you're paying attention to her. I'm not, though. I'm just sitting here. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I feel like the person that wrote that had to have been, like when that was written. I have no doubt that that was written because somebody somebody was trying to like travel to the Americas. Like that had to have been written. Like yeah, it sounds like an excuse. Yeah, <clears throat> sounds like, like it was written by somebody that just like had some shit to do and had a clingy girlfriend. Yeah, it's like it, it sounds like somebody that was trying to discover the Northwest Passage and just had to get away for you know two years to do it. Just be like, listen, baby, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And, I, and if he was the first person that ever said that, probably worked like gangbusters. She was probably <laughs> just like, oh, oh, swoon. What a line. Mm -hmm. Of course, that was also the period of time where uh, Casanova was going around. Was his name Casanova? Go, going around. What, what was the he name? He was of around. <laughs> he was around. In other people's wives, you know. Casanova was going around, you know, he's on a rampage, mm -hmm. doing his thing. Rampage. <laughs> oh, more vitality. I yeah. Uh, fatter golem? Wow, I guarantee. Whoa, dude, did you see that? Like, your golem's fucking vibrating. <laughs> No, nah, I'm gonna do skeleton mastery. All right, you want stronger skellies? Yeah, because that that uh, the points that I put into that now will eventually help my uh, skeleton ma magi. Ma yeah, your skeleton mages. My my magical skeletons, magic. They fling magic at people. They're magical. <laughs> what do you do? I fling magic. Just I just like, 
big globs of it. It's it's occurring to me that this this may end up being a long series if we end up like completing Diablo two. Mm, yeah, if we complete it. Yeah, if we do, I don't know. I'd kind of like to. Yeah, it's, I mean we're doing great so far. Granted, like with the amount of skeletons and people, you, like this is the thing about the necromancer, especially like in the beginning, it's, it's kind of autopilot. Yeah, it's hard to tell whether or not I'm doing well. Mm. My skeletons are doing well. Yeah. My golem is doing well. I mean, look at his eight pack. My archer is doing well. I can't carry that. Oh my god, my inventory is full. I've just been picking shit up the whole time. Yeah. Like that's how you know you're not engaged. <laughs> just be like, like the skeletons kill, blah 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 blah. Ooh. Ooh. Neato. Yeah. There uh, you go. That's plus three to dex. Now you're looking smart. I've got, I've got some, uh, I've got some jimmies that'll look good in there. Uh, armor plus ten to life, plus three to strength, plus twenty attack rating. Let's do life. Yeah. I can't. It's all about that life, oh, son. I had two. No, I guess I just had one. Okay. I was yeah, just, I had two. just the one slot for bling. Bling slot is the name of my porno. Oh, now I'm all like orange and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Run for president. That'd... Those jokes are so done. Those God. are those are done jokes. We, yeah, we were just talking about they like they're done to death. We were just talking about like certain jokes just being done. Like I get it. Trump sucks like in a lot of ways, like mm -hmm. out loud. Yeah. But like, there's there's not a joke available yet that's. Or still, it's yeah. funny. Yeah, and it's the fact that every night on the Late Show, because I like I legit I still watch the Late Show. Yeah. And every night, that's all they talk about all the time, always. It's like, dude, I want to I, maybe I want to know about what kind of hair treatments like the this bald character is using, and like how long it took to get his wig on, like. Like, maybe I want a funny story from set. Like, let them promote movies. Yeah, and instead, it's just... Ugh, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm, I'm not overwhelmed, and, I'm whelmed. And that's as, like, like a, a, a heterosexual white person mm -hmm. that kind of doesn't really have as much to lose. Yeah, like, the stakes are very low for us. Yeah. Like, the only stakes we really have is if every other group rises up and is just like, fuck all these straight white men. Like, let's just get rid of them. Yeah. Which, I, odds are, not going to happen. I'm not going to rule it out entirely. Yeah, it's... Just, it's, it's happened throughout history. Well, but, like, the point is, without getting, like, way down that road... Yeah, let's not go down that road, but... Uh, but, yeah, no. I, but granted, I, if you disagree with that and you're all, like, anti-social justice warriors and all that, then, like, yeah, please, unsubscribe. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how we appealed to you in the first place, honestly. Like, don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what attracted you to this show so that we can stop doing that? What, what made you... What, what makes you laugh on this? <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> Are you a self-hating fascist? Is that what it is? Is that a thing? Maybe. Because it seems like... I don't know. I'm curious about that now. Like, self-hating fascist. Like, if you're a fascist, can you, can you be a self-hating fascist? Yeah, there's, there, there's some good joke material in there. Yeah. There. <laughs> See? And there are new jokes. Yeah. There's a new joke. And it's even about fascism, which so many people love right now. Mm, love is not quite the right word on that. Some people love it. Yeah. You're right, some people... We might have picked up some subscribers <laughs> from that one. Oh, thank God I found the exit. Jesus Christ, I'm tired of walking around in that damn cave. Just right, oh. in, right into the shit. Right into the shit. Right into the shit. Go get him, Skellies. I don't know if I'm the right level to be here yet. I have kind of rushed through to this point. Hey, your Skellies seem to be handling it pretty all right. Yeah, they'll be all right. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. I'm just going to pick up all this gold while they take care of business. You don't even got to help them at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm a manager, not a leader. We're managers in the industry. See, they, they don't even... Th see, that's the thing, too, is, like, as their manager, they don't realize the things that I do for them. <laughs> and that's okay. 
I go around and I kill all the resummony guys, and they don't even notice, but that's fine. I do this for the health of the company. <laughs> and when our stock price grows in the fourth quarter... This is going to be a really good quarter for us. Yeah. Oh, God, so good. I mean, honestly, with, uh, with, with you know, Janine and uh, finding those, like, great tax benefits... But Janine's dead. Janine, Janine died. When did that happen? It's, it was just now. I, I accidentally switched to my other wand, and it unsummoned Janine, and I had to summon... Uh, Cheryl instead. Uh, Who's going to do accounts payable now? Cheryl's going to have to do it. She's going to have to figure it out. I know she's never done it before. But yeah, I mean, honestly, she doesn't even have that. Like, we're going to have to refile all the paperwork to get her access as signed on as a fiduciary to the account. Yeah, well, it, it, we, then we're going to have to do that. I mean, that's that's Chuck's job. Chuck's just going to have to man up and do it. Oh, oh, because Chuck doesn't have a hard enough time trying to get like the trying to get the new computer systems up and running. Chuck will be fine. Chuck can handle it. This isn't his first rodeo. It's not his first rodeo. I just don't like. Okay, you know how you know how I am about forced overtime. We we hired him because he had the credentials. I'm fine with for, with overtime on him. But let's just put him on he salary. He loves his job. Let, let's just put him on salary. Let's cut out the middleman here. I it, you know what you. I, I, I know you've been pitching it for months. I, I have been. I'm in his corner. All right. I'm fighting for him. I'm the one swinging. I'm starting to see value in 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 that in that as an initiative, especially it's, right now, like with Janine dying. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah I, I feel like the time's it. right. The time is right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> scene. Wow. Committed to that one. Yeah. We we were we were deep in that one. Yeah. Wow. This whole show. What, I hope Cheryl improv. doesn't end up being a bitch. <laughs> Cheryl will be fine. Cheryl will be fine. Chuck will be fine. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Where's the other so many guy? There's another so many guy over here somewhere. Somewhere. I oh, I think he's up there. Oh no, it was just a guy holding a torch. They're all hoarding to holding torches. No, some aren't. Are they not? No, I think they are all ho holding torches. I thought some weren't holding torches. Next time we see a big pile of them, we should count the <laughs> ones that aren't holding torches. <laughs> and just be like, why don't they get trusted with torches? <laughs> <laughs> These poor bastards. What What did they do? What did they do wrong? Like, everything's already burned down around them. It's not like it's a safety issue. What are they going to do? Make it worse? Yeah. Okay, so look, see, there, there was one that didn't have one. I mean, your skeletons killed them almost immediately, but... Maybe that's why. Yeah. Maybe it is a safety thing. Don't carry a torch and you will be safer. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah it's, they all have torches. No, the one has a shield. Look, the, like, he, yeah, see the yeah, one? Yeah, there's one with a shield. Okay. Yeah. They either have shields or torches. It's just the majority of them have torches because it's nighttime. It's always nighttime in the blue floor. Is that where I am? Dark wood. Wow, that... That that seems like it would be a great blues song. What? It's always nighttime in the Bloodmore. Yeah. Or it's always nighttime in the Darkwood. Ow. And it's always nighttime in the Darkwood would also be a great name for a porno. Yeah, it would. I wonder I how many crossovers that. there are like that. Where like great name for a blues album and a great name for a <laughs> porno. Time to go and uh, sell some shit again and level up. I guess like cold was the <laughs> night. Uh, or Dark Was the Night, Cold Was the Ground. I guess that would be another good, like, name for both Blues Album and a Porno. Yeah. Yeah. Selling that, wearing these gloves. I should have swapped my gloves out a while back. I'm sure yeah. everyone was yelling at me. Yeah. Just be like, for God's sakes, you're wearing the same pair of gloves that you've been wearing since I don't even know when. Ugh. Fuck Ethereal. I bet, I bet it's gonna sell for less identified. No. The exact same. Oh, but it repairs one durability in 33 seconds. Mmm. And ethereal stuff always has better stats. Yeah. Um, yeah. It repairs itself. All right. I don't have to worry about not being able to repair it. Okay. When is it going to take 10 durability damage? And now everybody can see your beautiful flowing hair. Yeah. Because the, the ethereal cap's not there. Because I'm wearing an invisible hat. <laughs> invisible hat. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of money, too. I can probably... Uh... Do I want to start putting stuff in other things? Oh, in other things other than summoning? Yeah. Because uh, I know before you said you wanted to go summoning and curses. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but like I'm actually kind of thinking poison and bone on top of summoning. You thinking that? Well, but like poison and bone, you have to lean really hard into it in order to make Get it worth it. Get the benefit, yeah. Yeah, so maybe I will just do curses and like 30% curses... 
seventy uh, percent summoning. Okay, that percentage I I doubt we'll be able to actually keep track of that percentage. I bet we can. Because you can see how many points you already put into it. Yeah. Okay. So right now you're at uh, uh, seven points. Seven points. So I just need three. Well, points technically six because uh, one of those points is from your uh, bow, uh, from your wand. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking at curses yet. Mm hmm. So it's mastery or uh, I'm doing mastery. Mastery. All yeah. right. Mastery. You know what? I support that decision. You made the right call there. Uh, let's do more strength. More strength. So I, don't, I don't get held behind on uh, picking dang, up new swag. Dang you still don't have shoes. Who needs shoes? I don't know. I, somebody has to need shoes. Nobody needs shoes. That's not haven't, true. Haven't you ever watched one of those, like, you know, survival shows? It's like, some of those guys don't wear shoes. Did I, did I, did I, did I hit this waypoint up here? Why uh, did I use a town portal when I've got a waypoint right here? Uh, I don't think you, you used that. Hey, cat, no. Yeah, you gotta turn the waypoint on, yeah. Boop, now I can come back here. Oh, yeah, sequential. Sequential. That sweet, sweet sequential. Um, oh shit, this is a long episode. No, I mean, it's 21 minutes. Oh, has it only been 21 minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was getting my episodes screwed up. I thought this was a 40 minute episode. I forgot no. what you did. We're, we're, hold, we're holding strong. We're holding true. Alright, well, 20, 21 minutes, that's that's enough. <laughs> that's, that's enough. That's enough for an episode. What mechanism makes those chests just burst into flames? And how do I get my hands on it? Yeah, because honestly, I would love that. Just be like, I would put it on my refrigerator just for the <laughs> irony. <laughs> just if somebody opens your fridge and it bursts into flames? Yeah. And I'd be like, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I just opened it. Well, obviously, that's not true. It's broken now. <laughs> it applies to so many things that you've said <laughs> to me specifically. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, I, I do that to people all the time. Like, I don't purposefully, like, set up things to break. and then, But, like, people will use things, and then it's broken. And I'm like, well, it wasn't broken before you used it, so what exactly happened? Right. Oh, well, I've got the skill shrine turned on. I should summon some beefy skeletons. Get them beefs on. Get them beefs on. There, now I've got four beefy-ass skeletons. Yeah, look at them. They're wearing, like, demon horns on them. Yeah. Get that. Skele-beefs. 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 I should put one of these on, too. Yeah. I wish they would stack. I remember when I was a kid playing this game, the Bardish, the Bardish, Bardish A... This was like my favorite weapon just because of how cool it looked. Yeah. Like, it kind of sucks as a weapon. Maybe you should take it on Knife or Death. <laughs> Hosted by not Steve Austin. Hosted by not Steve Austin? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Bill, sorry, Bill Goldberg. I love what you do with the show. His his level of intensity on that show is insane. It's great. Well, I mean, he's he's been a professional wrestler for so many years. Decades, even? Yeah. Like, if there's anything he's good at, it's... It's... It's talking. intensity, yeah. It's being intense. I guess I'm gonna take this damaged wolf head and put it next to my other low-quality wolf head. Mm -hmm. oh, I forgot druids. Right? Yeah. I just completely forgot about druids. Ooh, a superior wolf head. These. I, just, I just need all these wolf heads. I need them. I need these wolf heads. What about the jewel? I'll drink that and just pick up the jewel. Badoom! There will be other potions. Requirements minus 15. Yeah. Alright. 15%. 15%, yeah, that's what I mean. Not 15 as a whole. That would be... <laughs> minus 15 requirements. <laughs> <laughs> you can just have anything. <laughs> I look, I dropped a preserved head. Yep. Too bad my inventory is goddamn full. It's just so full. It's packed. He's, he's not wearing a backpack or anything. Where is he storing all this? Mm. Spicy. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. There you go. Oh, while I'm in here, though. Uh, there. 
Now these are full. Yeah. And now you've got, uh, like, seven grand. You can, like, put down a down payment on a place for you to sleep. Yeah. Uh, that is one thing that's going on in this game that, like, characters never sleep. Oh, yeah. there's another preserved head. Yeah, characters... it's just a regular preserved head. Yeah, for scrubs. Chip Topaz. I don't want no scrub. Scrub's a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at, at me. Which, All right, which next... by the way, I don't feel like is like Jesus. is a wrong, inappropriate way to do that. Like just this tree. Like if you if you're just rolling with your with your friend and you're just like, hey, I like that girl. I'm gonna holler at her. Like no. be respectful, be nice. But no, there's like if it's if you're trying to if you're hanging out the side of your best friend's ride, trying to holler at somebody. Okay, so maybe that's the difference. Holler, like, don't holler at a woman ever. Yeah, well, the, then then it's the semantics of the word holler. Like, I think holler implies dis, uh, disrespect. Uh, Does it though? I don't know. No, Kai, I, you're right. Let's tackle this down the next episode. All right, next time on shaving haircut, we're gonna go in here. Yeah, it's gonna be a hollow debate, and we're gonna talk about holler. Uh, hella hollow. Hella hollow.